This is the hyper-responsive rotoscope style for the prequels. So, in looking at the various films and the various trilogies, um, the, an uh, the animations actually kind of changed scene to scene. Um, but the scenes in the films um, were a little bit different. So, in the prequels, um, the animation was, was just a little bit, um, it was a little more noticeable, but it was also a little bit slower moving. Um, and again, it's based on character and scene, etc. This is kind of a, a combination of the, the three films in the prequels. Um, this version is the rotoscope prequel, but this is the hyper-responsive version. So the hyper-responsive versions of these styles have um, an added capability where any blade movement is actually going to be uh, translated to the blade. So the uh, in the films, whenever they are actually swinging the sabers, you don't see the animation that you see now. Um, and this is kind of a subtle flicker with a power rolling up. Um, so it's not just uh, all the blade at once, it actually has movement to it. Um, but if you, with the hyper-responsive version, if you swing, the blade will actually go static for a period of time. And then depending on the speed, uh, the acceleration of your swing, it'll take longer for it to settle back into the animation. So these are just to give a little bit more life to what we saw in the films. Um, again, the, uh, you're going to have multiple versions and options in the library. So this specific one is the uh, hyper-responsive rotoscope style for the prequels. Um, but there are other versions. There's also other color mixes available. Um, and you can choose your base color, etc. So um, this is the prequel version.